I was looking at some of my old videos and this picture caught my eye and I saw that it has two of my favorite brands in it and it's been so long that I have that I haven't used them together. So today is the day that I will try them again on my hair which is freshly washed, co-washed and conditioned and I left some conditioner in. So I'm going to start by sectioning my hair because my hair is thick. If your hair is not thick, then you don't have to section your hair. I'm going to apply the cream in sections. This is the Buclem's Curl Cream and it's white so you can assume that it's fragrance free and that's true actually for this brand. So I'm going to take two pumps for the second half of my hair, the <laughs> bottom of my hair. So I'm going to just work the cream through my hair like this. Oh my gosh, it has excellent slip. Now, this is just product application, which is different from styling. You can style your hair however you want. I prefer styling my hair with the finger coiling method especially as my hair grows longer. The brush styling is just not working for me or maybe I'm just not using the right brush. Whatever it is, I'm going to go back to my go-to method which is the finger coiling method. This way, my thick coarse hair is bundled into one thick curl clump which I can, if I want to, separate later or not and just leave it just like that and it just contains the whole volume. And that's why I love the finger coiling method and it doesn't take too long for me. So after I've applied the cream, I'm going to go in with the gel. This is the Bounce Curls Light Cream Gel. I've used this since 2017. It was literally the one of the first gels that I ever used. And I, I have a soft spot for it. There is a big learning curve with this gel, but once you know which products to pair it with and how to use it, you'll see how it just brings your curls back. So no working with the gel, I'm just going to scrunch it in. Now I'm going to work the top half of my hair. Now the top half is really thick, so I'm going to divide this into three different sections. So this is the first section, same thing, I'm going to use cream first, but this time I'm going to take only one pump. I use two pumps for the bottom half. Now I'm going to use less and less as I go on top because that is how I can get volume by using less cream. If you feel like your hair is weighing down and you use curl cream then maybe you should use less curl cream. After I have applied the curl cream in I'm going to go ahead and start finger coiling it. I'm just going to coil whatever clumps that come in my hand. Now see I know that these are two clumps so I cannot like force them to be together. If you're new at finger coiling, it might take you a bit longer, perhaps because you're going slower, you don't know the direction of your hair and things like that. And that's okay. The key is to just keep going because if I spend my time doing this right now, I really don't have to do anything to my hair or anything major to my hair for the next three, four days. And that's, that's getting time back. So the time I spent right now, it's giving me time back. So after I have randomly coiled this area, I'm going to go ahead and take a tiny bit of the gel and just smooth and scrunch, smooth and scrunch. All right, that's it. And now this part, I'm going to leave the front. This is a whole section of its own. So I'm going to do this last. In all, I've taken one, two, three, four sections of my hair little bit of cream, work it in. If you're wondering how come I, I have so much, like I have no tangles, that's because I used a co-wash and a conditioner in my wash. So my hair is feeling really soft and easy to detangle. Now I'm going to go ahead and finger coil it. You can finger coil in small sections, but don't take really big sections because that will just be so wonky. So try and take like adequate sizes to finger coil. Sometimes I do wish the brush styling worked for me because brush styling is faster and it more or less gives like the same effect as as though you would have finger coiled your hair. It's more or less the same effect for my hair because it's coarse and it's like brittle like very prone to breakage and see you can see that look I do lose hair when I finger coil 
but it's not as much as I when I would have brushed out my hair. Smoothing it down, a little bit of gel and smoothing it down. Now for the front section. Now by this time my hair is already so damp. It has very very less water and that's actually a good thing especially if you're using the bounce curl gel i noticed that this gel works really well on damp hair as opposed to really wet hair so i don't mind this dampness right now curls are falling in their normal finger coiled direction i'm gonna take the tiniest amount of gel like absolutely tiny it's literally just this much for this part of my hair. I don't want to use too much gel because this gel is really, really high in protein. Using too much can actually dry out my hair. So it's good to be conservative. It comes to some gels, especially if you have coarse hair like mine. This is my styled hair. Now I'm going to dry it. I don't have time to diffuse, so I'm just going to plop it into my diffuser cap and I'll show you how it looks after it's fully loving this hair already and I know it's going to turn out so nice. This is just like about 50% dry so I'm going to put my heat spray on before my hair touches the diffuser directly. Alright. If you want to know what this is the heat spray, I'll link it for you in the description. really don't have the time to be diffusing the whole way through so I'm going to air dry the rest of it and hope that it works out. <laughs> I'm going to show you how it looks once I'm back because I'm going to go now. I have two appointments today so I'm going to be out all day today and I'm really hoping that this looks nice because I'm going to see clients and help them with their hair and if you need any help I will put some links in the description so you can see how you can get help from me. Okay, I'm about to leave right now, but before I go, I thought I'll put the hairspray on so that it dries in the right way. So I'm going to spray it away. Please don't put a bomb. Please don't. No. You 